using define names in formulas. We're back in a spreadsheet that includes many defined names. If we go to the formulas tab and look at the name manager, you can see here they are. There are several ways in which you can use define names. I could simply type equals and start using one of my defined names by clicking on Use in Formula and saying Sales to bring over in a sales amount from another worksheet. And this is a worksheet within this workbook that I have a defined name for. I could bring in net sales, same type of thing. I'm simply use in formula. It, it, you can either start with your formula with an equal sign or you can let the software bring it in for you. And you can see these guys are now defined name formulas. We can also use defined names inside of sums. Anywhere you can use a standard cell reference, you can do that. Here, if we're going to use auto sum, we can say, let's bring in the quarter sales. Here, I'm trying to sum up quarter one west. And while that one is highlighted, I simply press the tab key, press enter. Another way, because I'm going to use AutoSum, I could just double click and it populates it with that same name. Just as over here, I click AutoSum and it doesn't have a named range, so it populates it with the range itself. So here, let me demonstrate again how to use typing it in. Here I'm typing the Q. I actually have two quarters that pop up, quarter one west, quarter two west. If I use the arrow keys on my keyboard, go down. Now press the tab key. It finishes the population of the name. I press enter. And that leaves us with different ways to enter in formulas. So those are the simple ways to use some of the basic formulas. Let's go back over to this worksheet. Here we have one that has a formula that has existing cell references. Let's get out of edit mode. And now let's go to define name. I would like to take the names that I've already created and I would like to apply them to my existing formulas. Here I'm using B2 minus B3. Those are the names for the sales and the returns. So I simply come out here and select those and click OK. Now I have my formula nicely done with descriptive references to the information I'm bringing in. And that makes it much clearer what I'm doing on this spreadsheet. It's a great use of defined names and formulas. You'll notice that over here, I was using a defined name for a range, right? And here I haven't yet named this range, so I could simply name this range now. It's quarter underscore three underscore west. And now I can do that same thing here again to replace it in this formula. Go up and define apply names quarter three west. Click. And now this formula is going to match the others. And it makes it very descriptive and very obvious what it is that you're doing with your data in this fashion.